Um, after you received your BFA, did you continue to pursue art full time? Yeah. Did Mr. Depp ever express an interest in your art? Yeah. When was the first time that happened? Well, first time you saw a painting in 2008. And then the next time was 20, uh, 2012. Uh, I had uh, made a painting and sent it to my best friend uh, uh, email uh, in an email. And uh, he forwarded it to Johnny and Johnny emailed back saying, hey, when Isaac wants to sell that, uh, whenever he wants to sell that, to go ahead and get in touch with me because I want to buy it. Did Mr. Depp ever buy that painting? No. Why not? Because when I brought over paintings, I had, I had moved back to uh, California and I, w I brought over a bunch of paintings for him to look at and see if he wants any to buy, buy any. And he looked at me and says, I got an idea. How about I be your patron? And we put together an art show, make some, make, make a body of work and then we'll, I'll throw a party and invite people and I'll sell the stuff for you and you could keep all the money. So he didn't, he didn't buy any paintings there. Instead, he offered me a complete patronship. So what did you understand he meant by um, becoming your patron? Well, he was going to financially make it possible for me to just paint every day and put together a body of work so that way then it could be sold. How did he plan to do that? Objection to what he planned on doing. What did you understand he planned to do to, well, to could, make that possible for you? I could tell you, I could tell you that uh, it, it, what it included was that the next day I ended up moving into, he, 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 uh, I moved into a, a art studio penthouse at the Eastern Columbia building, it was, listen, I got a place for you to go ahead and li uh, live and work and put the, this body of, of art together, and uh, I'll take care of you. You don't have to worry about anything. And what was the place where you were going to live that Mr. Depp offered you? The Eastern Columbia building. Did you, um, did you take him up on that offer to live at the Eastern Columbia building? Yeah, of course. <laughs> and uh, how did that make you feel? I started crying is, you know, one day, you, one day you're in your mother's garage selling paintings for a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars on eBay. Next thing you know, you get an art show and like you don't have to worry about deadly squat. Of course, of course, I was, I was flipping out. When did you move into the Eastern Columbia building? The next day after we met and we talked the next day. The next day, I get, I get a phone call from a guy named Kevin Murphy, who is working for Johnny, and I go to, and he says, hey, meet me at this address. And I go, and I meet him, and here I am in front of this building. This is a beautiful building. This is like, you know, it's whatever, 13 floors, but it's like from the 1930s, some Art Deco, beautiful building. And I'm looking, I'll go, all right, this is unreal. What, there's going to be, you know, all right, it's going to be one of these apartments or whatever, one of these places here. I go in with uh, Kevin Murphy. He takes me all the way up to the roof. We go, we go to, uh, into penthouse two. And this, I walk in and I'm like crying, going, this is, a, it's beautiful. This is like a, a mansion uh, situation to me. Mr. Bruce.